potential targets such as military bases and chemicals. Viewer discretion is advised. Day 26. Not much to say other than today was a complete mess. While trying to make our way home, the Jeep broke down. This is a major problem as I still have lots of ground to cover, and now Marley and I will have to do it on foot. Thankfully, we don't have to go far, but it's rather dangerous. We spent the day hiking an old road that I'm hoping should get us back. Not sure if things have really improved, but it seems as though the animals are not really affected by this disaster. The highlight of my day is when the night comes and I'm able to remove my mask, as the fallout tends to dissipate. Unfortunately, that's when they become active. I'm not quite sure what they are. Maybe at one time they were human. Hopefully we can make it through another night and get home tomorrow. Signing off and wish us luck. After finding a pretty decent place to set up camp, I dug a fire pit and we headed away to look for some firewood and I spotted one of the creatures. Now there's three things these assholes don't like. Fire, dogs, and guns. Thankfully we have all three.
the case of nuclear or radiological fallout, people living around potential targets such as military bases and chemical plants may be advised to evacuate. Protection from radioactive fallout will require taking shelter in an underground area or in the middle of a large building. Fallout shelters can be any protected space where the walls and roof are thick and dense enough to absorb radiation. The more distance and time you put between you and the fallout particles, the better. After a radiological or nuclear fallout, you shouldn't leave your shelter until officials say so. The length of your stay can range from a day or two to four weeks, depending on the extent of the contamination. People who are allowed to come out of hiding may be evacuated to unaffected areas within a few days. Listen to your battery-powered radio for instructions and information concerning community services. Stay away from damaged areas and areas marked radiation hazard or hazmat. As with biological or chemical fallout, having a disaster kit ready will increase your family's chances of survival.